Hey guys, so today I am wire wrapping one of the dichroic fused glass cabochons that we sell on our website that we have added a groove to. So it has this little notch all along the perimeter of the bobble. Um, we offer this as an option on almost all of our cabochons. Basically, if it's suitable for it, we offer it on there. And that goes both for our fused glass as well as our gemstone uh, cabs that we sell on there. Today, I'm going to be wrapping it with an 18 gauge uh, pair of wire. This is copper core that's been silver plated and then enameled to be this really nice kind of stainless steel color. And I just wanted to demonstrate to y'all how easy it is to wrap these cabs. So I'm going to choose which side I want to be the front and kind of from which perspective. Well, the front, I mean the top. <laughs> and then I'm going to center this one up on my wire and just push the wire along inside the groove until I have it about centered with where I'd like. And now with that still a little bit of that gap right there, just to give us room to cinch down, I'm going to do like a twist tie twist. I'm gonna do two rotations before making double, triple certain that the wire is exactly where I want it to be before coming in with my bent nose pliers, gripping and cinching. You don't want to cinch too tightly. Not just because the wire is soft and may actually cut through itself, but if you apply too much pressure to glass, it will actually like like chip off, kind of like a stone napping. Like if you apply a lot of pressure, if you smash it, it'll just, well, smash, but if you apply pressure, it'll actually flake off. Um, so you can be fairly, you know, they're, they're pretty robust pieces, but you don't, you want to be mindful. So now that we've done that, it's pretty much in there <laughs> and we can now go through with either a knitting needle or a pen or a mandrel or like mandrel pliers and I am just going to wrap around this is on the six millimeter segment of the mandrel wrapping our wire around to make the bail just crossing from one side to the other and we could continue down to make like a little kind of shoulder scarf wrap like how we have here or we could do that and add like some little loops and things as well I think my camera's gone blurry there we are um but I'm actually going to do a slight variation from what we did here and uh whenever I finish this I wanted to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of how this looks with different gauges um of wire so using both of our wires if you're new to wire wrapping i highly recommend checking out and following along with our easy wire earring tutorial um, where we go over making itsy bitsy spirals to demonstrate real quick on some scrap wire if you take your fingertips and go like this and then do the it's a bitsy spiral we're gonna wire wrap <laughs> like sorry uh i think i was born to be like a second grade teacher or something um but that motion um and you just do your fingers holding your wire like this and this and then come through and do that motion it gives you a pretty nice little swirl that you can then smush a little flatter with your pliers if you like and continue doing that motion around to build up little itsy bitsy spirals um, so using that same motion, holding our cabs here and our wire here, and wherever you put your fingers, that's going to be where the swirl happens. So I'm actually going to start the swirl off over here and then start traveling it by kind of pushing <laughs> towards where I want it to be. Th this will take some practice, but well, that's, that's half the fun of it, I feel like. And then we can come in. And from here, lining our wires up next to each other like they're friends. And we continue making that loop like this. Trying really hard to stay in frame and keep it from being blurry. <laughs> so be patient with me. Just bringing that around like that. Ooh, I like that. Makes like a little rosette sort of. And now we're going to wrap around the back and come to hang out here in the front. We're going to take this wire and 
honestly, at this point, you could snip it, tuck it, and be done. You don't want any pokey bits, but once you do that twist tie wrap and make your bail, the piece is ready to wear. So everything from here is entirely up to you, you know, decorative-wise. So feel free to experiment because you don't have to worry about your stone falling out. So I've snipped to where we have a little over a half an inch. I'm grabbing with my round nose pliers as close to the tip of the pliers and as close to the tip of the wire as I can. And just making a little spiral. Coming down. And now from here, I want to travel this other wire around that outer edge. So I'm going to grip it like this. And then just bend it. I keep my finger there to keep the wire from traveling over our previous spiral. I'm going to use our pliers to do a little bit of a bend. Boop. Just like that because now as we come in through here i'm going to kind of encourage this around but as we feed our wire through we can grab it with our pliers and then kind of pull and it'll try to nestle where we did that preemptive bend you know whereas if we didn't do that bend sometimes it's just a bit of a crap shoot <laughs> about where uh, the wire will decide to bend and now we're going to just twist that around the rest of the way and give it a snip. Coming in with our round nose pliers again. And just making our little spiral. This is one of my new favorite designs for making quick, sleek inventory for our booth and our website because you're able to go however minimalist with it or however fancy as you'd like to get. It's not too hard on your hands. Oh, also, here we have, this is wrapped with 20 gauge wire. This is a piece that we had made for on our like TikTok, YouTube shorts kind of stuff. Um, and you can see kind of how that looks. Now this one is 18 gauge. I don't think I'd recommend wrapping with anything thinner than a 20 gauge because, um, it, you know, if you don't want the bale to smush too easily, if like you're wearing it or something, um, you could do this with a 24 gauge, maybe like a 22 or a 24 gauge. I would just recommend doing more loops with the bale. But also if this snags on something, even with the 20 gauge, I'd kind of be like, hmm, I wouldn't wear this with a loosely knit shawl or something because it would probably get tangled. What would that loop? Um, so just be mindful of things like that in your designs. Now this one here is done with an 18 gauge, or not 18 gauge, um, 16 gauge. And the gauges that I'm speaking in terms of are all American wire gauge. Uh, just if, um, if that's pertinent to you, you'll know what it means. But, uh, if you're buying from Parawire, it's the same exact gauges as what Parawire has their stuff listed as. Um, so yeah, this is a 16 gauge. I guess I really should learn what these are in millimeters because that would just make more sense. I don't know what it is in chicken nuggets, but it's a it's a 16 gauge and I love the way that it gives that very pretty little border. It's still nice and secure in the groove, um, but it can be a little bit trickier. Uh, the 16 gauge is a little stiffer to work with than these thinner gauges. And um, so if you're starting out, I'd really recommend either the 18 or 20 gauge, but I did want to show you guys just how cool looking the 16 gauge is. I have not had a lot of success with this using square wire, but don't take my word for it. Try it out. You might be much better at it than I am. Um, but I was just getting a lot of chipping and flaking and things with an 18 gauge square wire. So maybe a 20 gauge square wire might be a lot better. But yeah, so this is our design. If you uh, like it and would like to use some of our groovy cabs, we do send them out in some of our craft along kits. But if you want to get them for certain, we do sell them on our website, backtoearthcreations.com. Uh, there'll be links directly to where we sell our cabochons down in the video description. We also sell our handmade jewelry and uh, here lately once a month on the last Friday of the month we do a super duper mega craft along sale um, where you can actually purchase the stones and then select the wrap style that you would like and then watch us wrap your stone live and that's for our fused glass and gemstone cabochons that we sell 
on our website. So I really do hope that this has been helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas, please leave them down below. Um, I am very open to requests for future tutorials. If you'd like to see um, a style or something of us using these groovy cabs in like different styles of wire wrapping, I'm working on some different heady designs and stuff too, utilizing these stones because man, if we had had stones like this when I was first learning how to wire wrap, um, that would have made my life so much easier, you guys. I cannot even. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I, I really do hope that this is helpful to you. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye! <laughs>